Alright, Cody here. And today I'm going to attempt to uh, determine the temperature that uh, the inside of a pressure cooker obtains through an indirect uh, measurement method. Now, of course, before I start, I'd like to point out that you can use a, like an infrared thermometer to check the side of a pressure cooker while it's going to check the temperature of the inside, because, you know, it's just thin metal here. But that's, that's really no fun, right? So I'm going to try a different method. So I'm getting this uh, burner heated up here. So, you know, preheating it. And I got some water here. I can tell that I got the thermometer in it, and the thermometer says it's a 40 degrees centigrade. Let's write that down. All right, 40 degrees C. All right, that's nice and hot, so let's go ahead and set this on here. <clears throat> I'm gonna, oops, start my watch. There we go, all right. Watch has started. I'm gonna time how long it takes to uh, increase the temperature. I'll take a few readings here and there so I can plot a nice graph. And then, uh, then I'll get the maximum temperature that it obtains once the water's boiling. And uh, I'll show you what I do from there. Alright, sounds like we're getting close to a boil. You notice I've put the pan kind of on as much as I could just to make sure that it's uh, similar evaporation rates are going on. Um, I took a couple of more temperatures at 50 degrees and 75 degrees and the, the times that those were. Looks like we're up around 85 right now. So. All right, I'm going to call that boiling. It looks like the thermometer is reading 95 degrees. All right, and that happened at about 6:30. Now the the thermometer's not inaccurate. It's just uh, I'm at a high altitude. Or I'm not near sea level, so let me close this real quick. All right, so I just got that closed at almost seven minutes exactly. All right, so it started rocking at uh, 9:45. All right. Alright, so I've crossed the numbers. You can see some of my scratchings up there. But the important bit is that I've determined that the temperature increased at about 0.16 degrees per second. Times that by 195 seconds after I put the lid on. That gives me 31 degree increase. Add that to the 95 degrees that the water was boiling at, and that gives me a final temperature of 126 degrees Celsius. So, there you have it. The approximate temperature that I was getting inside this pot. And I remember when I had to uh, check it with my infrared thermometer, I was getting about one, 120 degrees centigrade, so that sounds about right. How about we check this other pot, huh? There it goes. I'm going to do the same procedure here. Looks like uh, the initial temperature was 36 degrees or so. Okay, I have my results. Um, this one heated a little bit faster, probably because I didn't have as much water in there. So that was a 0.18 degrees per second. And it was 96 seconds after I put the thing on, so that's like 17 degrees. Times that by 95, that gives me a total of 112 degrees centigrade that this uh, pressure cooker maintained. So this that makes sense because this pressure cooker is rated for a much lower pressure than that one was. So, so, what's that all mean? Well, 
in general, whenever you double or uh, whenever you add 10 degrees uh, centigrade to a reaction, the reaction rate doubles. So if I take uh, that one there, which is uh, that's an increase of about 30 degrees. So that's uh, three doublings. So this pressure cooker is going to cook. Uh, if it was t if it was 10 degrees more, then it increase it double the rate. An extra 10 would be four times the rate, and uh, 10 more is eight times as fast. So this pressure cooker is able to cook things eight, about eight times faster than what would happen if I were to cook it at ambient pressure. And that makes sense because I can cook a pot of beans in about half an hour, and uh, which normally takes a lot longer than half an hour to do. This pressure cooker doesn't get nearly that high. It's only like four times as fast. But anyway, so that's uh, that I've been meaning to do for a little while. Hope you learned something and enjoyed this video. See you next time.